my fucking god, Mr. Curly Mustache Mango Sentinel, you are here again to bash down the competition. It is motherfucking time to talk about MVC, baby. MVC hype. We're gonna take you for a ride and we're gonna get our $50. Take it for a ride as well. <laughs> when this motherfucker drops, we're talking about Marvel versus Capcom, the fighting collection. Arcade classics available at us, you know, relatively soon. I, I, I can't wait until this new iteration of remastered games with Marvel vs. Capcom just drops, man, because it's time to be an NVC fan. It's as good a time as any to be heavily invested into either Capcom or Marvel, in my opinion, and I believe that the NVC series really just touched up on those points. Like, it, it just put jelly and peanut butter together because i'm such a fucking huge freak for marvel and capcom stuff so if you don't know if you aren't well aware then they had like a switch conference that happened a while ago it was the last nintendo direct now while i was not only hyped for marvel versus capcom being announced i also was hyped for fucking metroid prime 4 i can't wait for that <laughs> day one purchase on my switch 2 you know what's happening in the building but still uh they dropped this little nugget of news and uh, as a fighting game like sort of enthusiast i love this for several reasons i'm gonna give my backstory here but yes I did start out with MVC with MVC 2 and I believe that was on the PS3 when I got my PS3 I just downloaded it looked interesting I still have that motherfucker so Sony you can suck my dick it's still on my PS3 and you ain't doing nothing with it you can take down the store I have the game it's mine I own it forever all right but still look 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 still as I'm being a dickhead it was a refreshing experience just taking all the characters you love and putting them in a little melee of like three characters on a team and just fighting it out against the opposition three v three let's get it seeing jill do her supers and uh, form out a motherfucking tyrant because you could summon a tyrant from the ground in order to kick the opponent's ass you could do like shoulder charges you could do things with hayato who was one of my mains with this little lightsaber just chopping people up into confetti playing the strider sending out the robots to people playing as ken masters it was a very exciting time i moved on then to mvc3 and that game i also loved it was kind of a bitch really with some matches some matchups with x factor phoenix going ham and trying to touch my legs and burn my calf into smithereens all right it was not a pretty sight but i still got some matches off i still got some wins i was a lord as i knocked my phone down goddamn <laughs> but i i think i was like a, a, a fifth lord a fourth lord i forget the whole ranking system but still also an enjoyable time uh, playing ultimate uh, having frank west i'm a huge like dead rising stand low key i gotta get more into that series with reviews but still it was overall just a pleasant experience then i played in vci and i was like this motherfucking game all right <laughs> i don't hate it as much though i'm just fucking with you but i don't hate it as much i'm just like this game it had potential i'm glad they balanced out the health and it wasn't that bad you know what i mean but still it had a lot of work namely i think the big criticism was them blue peeling capcom and saying you know hey these x-men characters these functions or whatever not really that boring right uh capcom people were saying that and it was really just jarring and weird oh the x-men isn't as significant because of their exclusion in that game and everyone mostly assumed it guesstimated that it was because of the whole MCU Disney deal going back and forth saying you can only use a certain amount of characters. You can't really use like the X-Men favorites. We don't own those yet. Fox is still in limbo doing what they're doing because I believe they didn't merge just yet. And it was a clusterfuck. It was a bad statement. It was a statement that shouldn't have been made. And I can understand why people were like, huh? You said the X-Men aren't that important. You are capping, all right? You are capping, little one, little sheep, all right? <laughs> but like, I, I think they deserve to be rightfully ostracized for that. I can see that statement pissing people off. Like, oh, the X-Men doesn't matter? Bitch, no, look at X-Men 97. That shit is super popular now. Well, I clearly know that their statements were made back in the past but still right 
the X-Men is just as relevant as ever and I don't think that any PR spin was going to deter people from the obvious even back then we knew better we had our thinking caps on max all right NVC I NVC I <laughs> just as it approaches on NVC not I uh, but NVC I as it approached onwards it started to lose luster and uh, as someone who got into the game late kicked ass and left it really hurt to say that we're not gonna see anything else after that we're not gonna see any crossover collab with Marvel or Capcom again because of this bullshit where it's like oh stuff with the rights but I think that Marvel games has gotten like a lot more lenient over the years adding a couple of games to their repertoire uh, a couple of new titles going forward from Spider-Man the Insomniac Spider-Man to other projects as well Guardians of the Galaxy and all that stuff Midnight Suns they gotten a lot more lenient and because of this I'm hoping now that they own Fox itself and they can use the rights to these other characters that maybe they open the door for MVC4 wishful thinking I know but that's one of the problems that people had like number one they thought that their roster was gonna get completely cucked and destroyed because of the business deal between Marvel and Disney and not using specific characters they haven't had an MVC in years so fans thought the franchise was dead and then there was the idea of well you know what are we gonna do next now street fighter 6 is popping is there really a need to go back to crossover style fashion but i saw the polls that capcom put up and they asked people uh do you guys want more crossover fighters and you know i said heck yes i do clearly though the first thing is to reboot your old ips which is what they're doing like they answered both of those questions and i think one of those was number one with rebooting ips and number two was crossover fighters or maybe i'm wrong on that i forget uh but i know it was up there fast forward to now oh boy now we know capcom and preservation has been kind of weird i i feel like they are the most lenient ones on it so far because i don't remember as many games being delisted as it was with activision activision fucking sucks horse cock with fucking preservation dude it's like just you gotta be honest right like the old transformers games the old spider-man games you, you just can't find them anymore deadpool you can't find them anymore it's like they're just in the ether and you got to get them physically because or torrent or do some things like that it's just like super weird so capcom preservation is cool they they preserve better than others i'm pretty sure there's some games that got delisted for sure or maybe some games that are harder to find than others because dino crisis exists and that's the thing and really unless you have like a ps3 or something you're kind of just fucked in the ass right it's like okay dino crisis fans you made that poll pop so hopefully they listen to what you have to say about a remake but still this is where you get money though this is where the money comes in because i'm pretty sure the rio de janeiro of the entire ordeal the money maker here is bringing back that nostalgia now i know some people might not care and say well these games are like old who cares there's gonna be like that subsect of people i know that there's gonna be also people exploding in their pants seeing this for the first time like maximilian dude and i don't blame those people at all whatsoever you can make money off hype from bringing back old games go figure it's a market for that remasters were a thing for the longest time now the remakes are in where you can make something from scratch but i'm sure like they never remake a fighting game huh? Like, you think that's weird they never do a remake for a fighting game maybe because like they want to do an ever expanding roster so just having like maybe 12 characters or six characters or nine characters it ain't gonna work no more look at like the mk1 roster not the new mk1 not not the new i'm talking about the old one from the 90s like that roster was very paper thin so i don't think you can remake that game unless you decide to add in new characters and reimagine the timeline which is what they kind of did with mortal kombat 9 so you have to do something like that where it's just it, it makes sense you have the three eras mashed together uh but yeah preservation is important and 
I'm glad they put out the Capcom beat em up bundle. I'm glad they're putting out this. I'm very glad that they're also doing what they're doing for Mega Man. Even though I want a new Mega Man entry, they're putting out tons of remasters and uh, collections for it so you can play those old games no problem. Uh, this is the way to go, especially for fighting games because I have a new downloaded app called Fightcade and that's where I go to mostly play fighting games online, whether it's like Third Strike or old KOF games, uh, that's where I go. So I want to see that net code and everything preserved because it really sucks when a multiplayer game or a fighting game is shut off forever and then you have to like either deal with the fact that you'll never be able to play it again or you have to wait until someone makes a community server and play it that way on PC. All around, as we go down the list, this is good news so far. What are my thoughts on the games in the collection here? Now, I'm gonna definitely skip the ones I haven't played real quick, but I'm also gonna talk a little bit about the ones I have. The first one is X-Men Children of the Atom. This one I have not played. It seems like this is the one where it's like all X-Men centric. Capcom just wanted to make an X-Men fighting game and you don't have the classic Capcom characters in this one. It says X-Men for a reason, you know, Marvel Comics, you know? And then we move on to Marvel Superheroes. And it seems like an expansion, a sequel to X-Men Children of the Atom. But both of these games I have not touched. And then we start to get more into the nitty gritty X-Men versus Street Fighter. Welcome to die. Welcome to your doom, baby. It's time for the official collaboration. And it couldn't have been any more stellar. I played this game recently on Fight K2 and I enjoyed it for what it was. I was playing with the IES, my friends over there, Infinite Ammo Syndicate, and I was kind of getting some wins. I was surprised by that. I was like, how the fuck am I winning when I'm just playing this game for the first time in history? I should be getting my head rearranged, but it must have been those NVC Origins and NVC2 remembers like tactics of Hey, I, I remember how to play this game. I have the muscle memory. I, I know how to do a little magic series stuff or whatever. A little dial those combos in, right? And I started getting some wins with Kim Masters and Cyclops. And I love that shit so much. Now, using the juggernaut bitch was cheating because that man was in the game as well. You could play as him and he does like some insane damage and stun locking. But I was like super enjoying that shit before he got banned from the tournament. Then we move on to Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Now, this one I have not touched, but once again, it seems like they're expanding the roster. I see Spider-Man, like, right on the cover as well, so you can tell it's new. Spider-Man, Omega Red. I'm not sure that guy right there is Balrog. It looks like it, but yeah, once again, another expanded roster, and it's cool that they did that, okay? And then we have the Nitty Gritty. The one. The game that started a new legacy, Marvel vs. Capcom, Flash of the Superheroes. I assume that MVC Origins is this game, basically, you know, it, they rebundled that and they made it into that and they just dropped the whole subtitle and they put Origins in there because I do have that game on PS3, I did play it and it's, it's awesome, Venom just fuck shit up man it's just the greatest thing ever okay and then we have marvel vs capcom 2 you know you you don't need to say more a monolith a monolith sequel and then they randomly added the punisher in there for some reason and i played the punisher the punisher is like a co-op side scrolling beat em up title where you play as like frank castle and nick fury and it's a really good game it just feels very random for adding in this into something like i don't know a marvel versus capcom fighting game collection you got a random punisher co-op game the punisher is not even a character in any of the marvel versus capcom games so far you know i mean fucking winter soldier got in before the punisher right uh chris redfield you know they have these gun users but no punisher we need to see punisher again in mvc4 uh, but this is an overall solid collection. I probably would have tweaked this last entry of this co-op game and probably put in something else, but overall, and, and I can see why they're sticking to the classic arcade format as opposed to sticking in like MVC3 or whatever. You can buy those right now, so it's no big deal. It's no problem, although make MVCI a little bit cheaper because goddamn, I'm not buying that shit at like $50, $60. 
anyway we have the final point here before we close off on this and that is the big controversy of this game not coming to xbox there will be no xbox for marvel vs capcom fighting collection and a huge slew of people was very disappointed by that and i can see why i i can see why they are upset disappointed it's like you know we have this great hype collection it was originally on an xbox platform before with the previous mvc games so why not put it on xbox and you know you have people asking those questions but i believe it was a logical issue because the way folks explained it to me is that capcom kind of phased out the mt framework engine and it might have run into a snag on the previous generation consoles with the xbox one and the series uh remember this is coming out on like ps4 so uh i i believe that it had to be probably some issue with reverse engineering i know it's a thing it happens i know you might say oh well, anything's possible sometimes everything is not possible especially if you're doing like a quick r d on something you want to get out relatively fast and not put a whole lot of effort into it uh, i would imagine cutting a port would cut the loss of r d being made there and i know it sucks it does suck major and you should have issue with it uh, how do i feel about this though personally speaking like i said it sucks but i'm also am happy i am a person that's like okay well if you get multiple platforms or if you just have all this and i know that sounds like uh very very like oh you have all these platforms i only have one but still it is a helpful method of being not only on xbox but on playstation as well so i can get the collection uh i think it's coming to switch too obviously because it showed it at a freaking nintendo direct uh, maybe I, I hope that the scream and the outcry for an Xbox port still remains loud and it shows Capcom that hey we kind of want this so other people can play and then maybe include some rollback crossplay I'm not sure what they're gonna do with the features uh, implemented in the game but I definitely will be keeping more of an eye on this as time goes on for sure I just hope that you know and I can read these now real quick so let's see let's see uh, I am on the website I am on the website so it says let's see if they have that rollback oh Yahtzee they do they do they're gonna have rollback netcode so i got my wish after all uh and they're gonna have far more smooth and enjoyable battles from that due to the implementation that's nice okay so casual matches you're what you come to expect uh casual ranked custom which means lobbies you know lobbies question mark i, I would assume so uh the punisher game also has online co-op and spectating again that's a really weird addition like maybe they should have added something else that would fit that a lot better i'm not sure just the random puncher games in there is weird like it's a damn good game though i'm not gonna lie i guess they just wanted to add like some co-op flair to the classic collection so you have more bang for your buck and they have a high score challenge so that's just leaderboards and stuff like that training mode it's a given needs to be in fighting games the marquee card uh you can view the original arcades marquee release card anytime when you're playing so that gives you information about inputs and buttons and it shows pictures like that so it's you know it's what you would come to expect quality of life features uh looks just like i remember so you have the traditional display filters to make the game look like uh four by three uh sort of arcade cabinet and you could put like borders on there again they did this with the Mega Man collections so i'm not surprised you could do a quick save pause and unpause single player content as you play you could also easily retry difficult fights which means i guess if there is a very hard fight in the single player uh portion you could do it again no problem as opposed to being frustrated and starting all the way over which i guess that works out too well uh as a quality of life that's fine uh take on challenges so there's challenges for uh doing certain things in the game which i think is probably going to be equivalent and linked to trophies which is you know again standard flair uh and they have whoa wait one button specials now i don't know how i feel about that chief i don't know how i feel <laughs> about that one button special life of course though they're gonna try to casualize the game to people who never play mvc therefore you can just mash buttons press buttons but again 
I just prefer a classic layout, so I prefer having all my magic series there. Uh, if you want to put in people who do one button stuff and you want to put in classic controls as well, just make differing lobbies for those folks getting into the game for the first time and those other folks who are hardcore veterans who don't want to play against people with one button inputs uh you should divvy the pool and separate them no problem if you're really putting in this much effort into uh bringing a game for hardcore veterans and casuals i i think you should have more options that way and they have difficulty modes which is once again a given so if you want the cpu to be like hard and shit <laughs> hard and shit like thanksgiving dinner and then you could do that uh and then they have a gallery of course where you can view artworks and cards and posters and listen to music uh yeah it's just you know what you would expect from a collection like this i'm, I'm looking forward to it though with the better online for sure i want to see how that's implemented how that works i don't think they said anything about crossplay though i so uh, no crossplay question mark it probably not I, I it's probably just like a hey, console specific you gotta play between your friends on this platform or that platform and that's kind of underwhelming because i like cross play with my friends so maybe they could look into that in the future as a constructive critique overall though I, I think that's it talking about all the features and everything within it i'm quite excited for this and i think now is as good a time as any to be a very hyped marvel versus capcom fan it's it's very cool it's very interesting and i hope that this shows that the series can still thrive and we still care about it capcom we want to see more we want to see more crossovers you're doing it with snk terry bogart and street fighter motherfucking six baby I can't wait for that either. I just think that once again, it shows how Capcom cares. They're in the green, but of course there's still more work to be done. We still need that RE collection, that classic collection to come out so I can bust my zombies in the head with like my handguns. I need that to come out full swing so I can enjoy all that. I can play classic RE3 and enjoy it and, and have that on modernized consoles because ownership is indeed everything. I'm Renegade Operative, I'm signing out, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, take care of yourselves, see you later, and once again, don't get happy birthdayed, <laughs> see you later people.